this is Julie Baker and this is a welcome to solarpanelbatterycharger.com. I just thought I'd run through with you um, the solar power system that we've got running on our narrowboat here in the UK. Um, these are our panels, we've got two sitting here. Um, they're um, 40 watt rating each, so we've got 80 watt power um, potential in total and I'll explain a bit more about that in future posts. Um, on a day like today, um, we, we mainly keep them sitting flat because the sun's mostly directly overhead so there's not much point in tilting them. But we have got this mechanism here so that we can tilt them in any direction to, to catch the, like the evening sun and whatever. Um, so that's it for, for this part of the video um, and I'll take you um, down below and we'll go and see where all this power goes to in our battery bank. So now we're inside the boat um, and this is the charge controller and we've got the wires feeding down from the solar panel into the controller. Now the charge controller is very important because it effectively um, puts a limit on how much can go into the batteries um, and it also acts as a very interesting information device as well. So we'll take a close up and we'll have a look at some of the displays that we can get from the charge controller. Okay, so the display is pretty simple to use. As you can see, it's quite useful because it shows the present um, charge, um, the present voltage that the batteries are at. Um, we've got a little sun symbol effectively saying that there's charge going into the batteries um, and a lovely smiley face that's decided that our batteries are actually in a pretty good state of charge. And we can scroll through the um, controller. The next screen is showing us how much um, input we're actually getting from the solar panels right at the moment. So we're getting 2.3 amps right now. Um, the maximum we've ever seen on there is just short of 5 amps, which is about the ca capacity for these panels. Um, so that is um, exactly what's going into the batteries, which there's a little bit of drop, but only a tiny amount. That's how much is, is physically going out at the moment, which is nothing. Um, so this is how many amps we've actually generated with the panels today. Um, I actually um, zeroed this setting um, at about 11 o'clock last night. So t so far today, we've, we've had 25 amp hours. Um, and that's about it really. So that sums up um, our solar power system. We've got solar panels on the roof feeding through the cables to the charge controller and we've actually got the batteries below deck. Um, now I would add that um, since we've had the solar panels, which must have been for about five years now, um, we've had absolutely no issues with overnight power. We used to have to um, think about um, how to leave the battery state of an evening because we, we do have a 12 volt fridge so um, we were often finding that we couldn't get through the night with the fridge still running um, whereas now we, we finish the day and we've got loads of um, charge for the fridge and anything else we want to use in the evening so it's really really convenient. Anyway I hope that's given you um, a little bit of an insight into how our solar panel battery charger works um, and I hope you'll come back for future posts and future information. Thanks very much for now. Bye bye.